This is one of the latest WordPress security issues. It's a cross-site scripting vulnerability in a plugin called Abandoned Car Light for WooCommerce. It's a pretty popular plugin. It may be on your site, your client's site. I'm going to show you what this vulnerability is on the WordFans blog, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. And we're getting started right now. So here's the post on the WordFans blog. If you don't follow the WordFans blog, you should. They publish a lot of timely security information for WordPress. This was released a few days ago. It is about the abandoned cart light plugin for WordPress or for WooCommerce, which I mentioned earlier. This is the page on the repository. They have 20,000 plus active installs, four to five stars. It's a fairly popular plugin. And if you don't know what abandoned carts are, essentially when you have an e-commerce store like WooCommerce, somebody adds something to their cart from your shop and they presumably want to check out, but then they don't actually check out. And so they leave their cart, they abandon their cart. Then you can email them if you have their contact info or the next time they come to your site, you can pop up a message saying, hey, you left your cart. Do you want to go revisit it? And that actually results in more sales, believe it or not, reminding people about their cart, then they can go and purchase. That actually improves your e-commerce stats. So it's an important plugin but it has this cross-site scripting vulnerability where a hacker can create a cart and they can put JavaScript in various fields in the cart and then abandon it. And then when the admin views the list of abandoned carts, that JavaScript then executes in your admin session and they can take over your website. So it's bad. And if you have this plugin or if your clients do, the fix is to update the plugin to the latest version. Or if you have WordFence installed, they have a firewall. There is both a free and a premium firewall, and both of those would have protected your site from this type of cross-site scripting. So if you want to protect yourself in the future, you can look into getting the free or the premium version of WordFence. I've linked to one of my WordFence tutorials where I show you the firewall and a couple other features in the card up above and the description down below, so make sure you check that out. Also, this fix, this updating of plugins, is actually the most common way to fix security issues, and it's so simple, but people don't do it or they don't do it in time. And that is one of the top 10 most common security mistakes that I see on WordPress sites. This video up here shows you the other nine, shows all 10, but the other nine you haven't seen yet, possibly. So check out that tutorial. And down here is the tutorial that YouTube thinks you should watch. So check that out as well. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.